allowing the images to flow up from the soul, using all of your senses and deep knowing. Tell me what you sense is happening around you. I'm an ET above Earth in a spaceship. Look down at your feet. What do your feet look like? Sort of webbed three sort of toes. I think I'm um, white, translucent white. Does your body Maybe feel? Some... Yes, yeah, sorry. Maybe some patches of green color on it as well, but essentially white, shiny. Does your body feel male or female? I could be both. But I think my first sense was male. Disintegrate very fully now into that body. Does your body feel young or old? Young, uh, young adult. And as you integrate fully now and look around this place, what do you sense is happening? I'm trying to connect with humans on Earth. What do you use to connect with the humans? mental telepathy. It only works, it only seems to work with some down there that are uh, tuned in. Maybe they're people who see things more advanced than the average person. Indigenous people. Tell me more about how you connect with them. They seem to come, they seem to come looking for me on earth. They do ceremonies and I am aware of their timing. So I come and I make myself known energetically to those capable of receiving what I send. And what messages do they ask for? They want to connect and be able to communicate more closely with source and They think I'm a conduit. And are you able to help them? It's more about, yeah, helping them to realize they can go direct if that's what they want. So I show them how to do that. And can you tell us more about how to do that. All is one. Cannot not be connected if you want to be. They are already connected. But they just didn't believe it. Tell me more about how they're connected. 
for a particular place in the body. The humans are connected through their heart. They can communicate through their energy field from the heart upwards to source because they're they're an aspect of source anyway. Source is everywhere, everything. They simply see, need to send the message. Ask. Need to create a relationship with source and their angels, those that help. And how is that relationship with source created? What's the best way for humans to do this? To be true to themselves, to what their heart, their intuition, their knowing tells them. Live that way. So, to be loving. communicative do no harm get a sense of what purpose you have being incarnated where you are at that time and follow that whatever that is take the action how do we know what our purpose is how do we feel into that if you're quiet enough there's an impulse that goes through your body, an impulse to move and do something that feels right and good for you. From the perspective of this ET, What's the best way to quieten our minds and listen to that impulse and small voice? To accept that there is great joy in knowing that you're living in accordance with your purpose, whatever it is that source is guiding you to, your higher self is guiding you to. Nothing will be ever better than that. So with the mind, you need to be firm and not allow energy to be wasted on things that fill the mind with ideas and thoughts that aren't aligned with your purpose. Because the forces of evil at work on the planet to bring it everything down will take advantage. So once someone knows that, they cannot not know it and can use that as a motivator, not in fear, but in wanting to maximize the joy of being on, on 
peppers. Deep down there's more about fear and how that works in the human mind. The human mind still. Tending to be in charge of the life, of the being, which is ridiculous. And so it at times when the ego runs, gets distracted or bored, goes off on a tangent because there's distractions in this world. And when you do that, you end up not enjoying the experiences that you then create so much as when you're on purpose. And so it creates seeds of doubt or frustration or pushback. And for some, it seems impossible to go back to where you were before so you could get you know, angry and all of those emotions are really negative so they're all an aspect of fear fear of missing out on fear of loss fear of being out of control when the mind can't be in control anyway. So that's a self-fulfilling loop. It doesn't work. And the sooner the human learns that and stops the cycle, and the sooner you're on track again. So you need to rely on your knowing so you can trust it and have courage. It gives you courage and you can walk through the, any fear that comes up. And how do we tune into that deep knowing? Is there a way we can tune into that more easily? It really does require enough stillness in the mind to create gaps, spaces in your earth time, just little gaps to let the light in and the knowing shines through and you learn to notice that knowing just came up and then you shut it down again very quickly and learn to stop doing that, to go back and go, hang on a second. I just had a realization and it feels good, feels right. And then change course to, and once you practice that and you succeed a couple of times, the feeling is of joy coming from that is quite profound. So you just, as you say, rinse and repeat every opportunity, every day, like a walking meditation, a walking mantra, until it's innate in you again. You still have the reptilian part of your brain, fear, you know, uh, get out of the way of the bus, which is fine. You need that. But don't allow it to go beyond that if your life's not in danger. Stay out of that space. Yes. Tell the mind when tell the mind when you want it to do something for you. Is there anything else we need to know about that? Any more messages about that from this beautiful ET. I think this one knows this. And I think that 
it's time to say that the things that he uses to distract himself because he fears not having his finger on the pulse of what's going on around him in the world. That fear is false. He's not afraid of death. He's not afraid. He knows he's an eternal being, so therefore let go of the noise that he continues to engage in. And just that alone will create the space he needs to fully integrate into his highest possible self in this lifetime. A lot of the fear on earth comes from very mundane things like not having enough money to pay for food and bills. How do we get out of that kind of fear? What do you see the future is for humans with regards to finances and fear of not being able to afford food? The ultimate truth is we're eternal beings and money and food and the body are not eternal. They're transient. And so one needs to let go of the idea that the body must be preserved at all cost. It's certainly advisable to keep it safe and well fed, but if you can't because you lack resources temporarily, then going into fear won't fix it. Being in your state of trust in source and the abundance of the universe remain still in that and ask to be provided for. And anyone of light asking earnestly will not be ignored. You won't starve to death unless it's your time to starve to death. And if it's your time to starve to death, you won't fix it. So learn to let go of this mortality issue and just be quiet. And in those quiet moments, the light shines through, the knowing shines through, source is actually your higher self or your source, whatever you wish to call it. We'll tell you what to do next. And don't be afraid to ask for help from the angels. That's what they do. That's what I do. Beautiful. And as we tune back into these indigenous people that ask for your advice, apart from source, what else would they like to know from you? This goes back 20,000 years ago. Um, they back then they were more 2D, 3D, but they they were very tuned into the earth and but had the sense of the energy rising from Gaia up and so knew there was something higher physically. And so they were simply wanting to tap into that energy and find where it took them. So they were probably ceremonial elders, I guess, who would then use the, their knowledge to survive, grow, teach the young. And um, so I think Memory, that's where my connection to them came from. They were looking up to reach what is source, really. And uh, I pr 
of, I guess I was a bit of a teacher. And once I gave them the information, they how to do it for themselves, then that ended that interaction. This one, here, it's just time. It's not too late. It's not too soon. It's just perfect timing now to for him to call in and function from his highest self. Disconnect where he needs to from the three and four Ds. Noise and violence. That's going to take a while to die down. There's big work to be done. Are you able to tune into his body as this beautiful ET and see if there's anything that can be done to open his third eye today? It's already starting to open. And when he trusts himself enough to still his mind that little bit more, just keep going. He's not looking for enlightenment. He knows about that. He's looking to keep stilling the mind. As he knows his chakras are rising in energy and the third eye will open enough for what he needs soon enough while he's still part activist in the 3d world his lower chakras are holding him back so tune tune them all up and operate in the top half relatively easy to stay safe at the moment for him on the planet. He's well looked after. And what else do you see happening on Earth at this time from your perspective in your ship above the Earth? What else do you see from up there? The planet's increasing its frequency far beyond 5D already to burn off what doesn't belong here. So those that are hesitating or wavering, 3D, 4D, even sub 5D need to get their act together. <laughs> Otherwise it's gonna be getting hot and hard to um, enjoy themselves because the energy is swelling the planet at the moment, you can feel it physically as a human. It's uh, the mass consciousness is getting stirred up. It's rising, but at the same time, those that aren't rising with it are getting fearful and angry. So there's going to be some interesting times ahead. But um, this is not a two-year, three-year plan. As you know, the age of Aquarius doesn't even start till the 2100s. But we're in the start of it now. We're in the front of the full sun, the mother sun. We're getting zapped. So it's time to keep cleaning up as many people as quickly as possible. And don't waste time on those that don't want to, because it's still a free will universe. And is that the best way for us to raise our frequency in line with Mother Earth, is to keep cleaning and clearing? Tell me more about yeah. that. Yeah, it's, you're already a light being, so what's why is that not working as well for you is because whoever the person is 
takes on illusions and thought forms and energies and trauma and therefore the demons and so the mass the mass consciousness is so sticky and um, it's like glue on the planet and you wade through it every day so you either join them and get bogged down or you keep undoing those bits of you that are like that just little things and then you have spontaneous increases in your frequency because there are planets and beings coming around every so often who are offering up high frequencies if your body and mind can take it. So that's why it might seem you're doing a lot of work for nothing, but then one day you have this spontaneous raise in frequency or a dropping away of some trauma that's the that's the reward the gift and we've just got to get everyone that's willing to do that it's unsticking ourselves from the glue yeah you cannot afford to um you can't associate with it. You must move on from it. You must take it off your body and from your system. And then you must have a lifestyle that's um, holding the higher frequency, the highest frequency that you've currently got. Otherwise you go backwards. You can always let the ego come back in and put you back into the reptilian fight, flight, freeze mode because there's so much of that energy around. It's almost contagious. The mass psychosis on the planet at the moment is at fever pitch, the fear that's been instilled through lies. Once you know the truth, then live it and don't stay with people at work or at home or anywhere that aren't making an effort to clear themselves from it or you will not maximize your frequency. Is there any way of helping those people who aren't aware of what's going on? I think it's self-responsibility so once they're aware, they need to be given options as to how to move through the soup. They need to be aware, made aware of maybe things they've never thought of before. A lot of, a lot of people on the planet aren't necessarily old souls or wise. They're fresh in. They don't have past experience. So you need to use communication that is picked up by the masses. Very Online. good. Mm. And from your higher perspective, do you see a time where there will be more awareness in these younger souls? I'm not necessarily seeing it in the, the current generations, but there's a lot that will just not move up in their frequency this lifetime. But whatever they do, it will make, they will show the way to others that can move up the frequency scale. It will show them what not to do. So everything will serve a purpose. It, 
it's still a free will planet. They still come in with agreements or intentions or we're in a transition. There's a thousand years of peace at the end of this, if we get it right. And everyone's evolved. Even I am in the state, higher state. Everyone's evolved. You're either adding to the problem or you're helping solve it. You said earlier there are planets and beings that are bringing in higher frequencies to the Earth. Hmm. Could you elaborate on that? The human body's um, affected by the energies of passing planets and um, so there are in the astrology if you like or the astronomy of it all there are planets that are built for healing planets that are built for war or protection and there are so some of the planets that are passing are there to help in the raising of the frequency. So um, I think you call it Alsicon is a sun that in 2000 moved into direct alignment with Earth. And um, it's the beginning of the age of enlightenment or an Aquarius. So the energies from the sun hit the body and help the cellular structure. And light being wise, there may be some avatars on the planet that we generally don't get involved directly at that level. We're sort of pulling the strings on request from a distance rather than being physically incarnated. But there are some, a f couple of handfuls who will show themselves in one way or another when the time's right and the time isn't right now. 